string manipulation so strings are very important in C because it needs both the knowledge of array as well as pointers manipulation if you're going to write some functions about string so let's see so what do we learn in this in this lesson is that we will learn about two functions and they are basically string length and string copy so these are the two things that we want to do here so we see first one is string length so what we do is that we want to pass a string pointer to string and then we want to calculate the length so first thing that we should remember is that string and with slash zero so this is very important because its character array and where it ends so we will put a slash zero at the end so let's say that we have here a string my name is Sam and so what happens in the end so automatically it slash zero is put there and so if this string is of length 14 so the last character is this one so strings ends with slash zero so now what we do we make so let's say we have an array where we have some something here and a slash zero in the end so we will have a pointer pc so this string is s character string so we will make pc point to the same as s and while s is not equal to slash zero so it keeps comparing so like m y then space then n a something like that it will keep comparing each of the characters with slash zero and only finally when there is a slash zero so it will stop and so what happens now so it keeps on incrementing the s pointer so it's incremented and finally what happens is that so pc was here now s goes there so we have some kind of pointer arithmetic so s minus pc will return the string length because what happens is that we are incrementing s each time till it reaches slash zero and finally we have we find that okay let's say this was 100 this was 114 so that string length will be 114 minus 100 which is equal to 14 so this is about manipulating with strings so we make a temporary pointer pointing to the initial one we keep on incrementing s till we find a slash zero so this was about string length so now coming to string copy so which is in fact much simpler so we have say so let's say we have one character array and another character array so what we do is that so there is this this is the thing we want to copy and so what we do is we will do that okay so this is the pointer where we have to do a copy this is where something is like a b c d slash zero is already there so what happens is star s is made equal to star t so it is copied here and then both are incremented so s becomes s plus plus t becomes t plus plus it goes there and then we have again b is copied so s becomes equal to b star of t which is b now and then first of all and then they are compared that okay 
not equal to slash zero so it keeps on going it moves t moves here so c is copied here it moves there to d and d is copied so now it comes here and slash zero so it's found out but it is made equal and then we see that the while loop so it ends and it returns so this is about string copy so now let's see so what they do here is that we have char string 20 of size 20 where they store some name string and then they have a another so array so what happens now is that so first thing is they call string length and print it and then they call string copy so let's try to see what happens so when we run this code so we see that string length is 14 1 2 3 3 plus 4 7 8 10 11 plus 3 14 so string length is 14 it doesn't count the end slash zero which should be correct and then it prints by copying there it prints the value so this is about string manipulation using pointers and one more important thing is that when we pass say char star s so what we are doing is that we are passing string length of str so we are passing this and so str is a pointer so this is a char star s so this is a copy of that pointer so this moves but nothing is changed here okay so what i mean to say here is one good observation that we make here is that let's say this is str it is pointing to the beginning of array then when we call my string length str and we see that it goes to my string length where cat star s is there so it the same value let's say this was 100 memory location so s also points to this one now when we increment s till we find slash zero so s keeps on incrementing and then it reaches here but this str remains the same so it doesn't change so that is one of the important points to be noted.